Why hello everybody. This video is going to show how to set up free home phone service. And to do that you're going to need this, the OB100. They actually have another model out. They have an OB200. But comparing the two, the OB100 did everything I would need. The, really the only difference is the OB200 has like a USB port. So if you want to do wireless internet to this. And then of course you're going to need some sort of phone. I got my wireless head uh, handsets here. There's two of them. I'm going to have one in my downstairs and one in my upstairs. And then you need a Google Voice account. And then once, because this is built to work with Google Voice. So once you get these set up and this set up, then you go in there to Obi's website and you set up your Google Voice account with them. And then you should get free home phone service. This cost me about 40 bucks used off Amazon and this cost me about $20 used off Amazon. So for 60 bucks I'm getting free home phone service. Can't complain about that. There's no fees. There's no taxes. The only downside from what I read and from what I've seen is you can't dial 911. <laughs> so this probably isn't good for emergencies, obviously. So you may want to have a cell phone around to be able to call 911. Um, but anyways, I'll show you how to set this up and we'll go from there. Behold my mess of wires. So you're going to need somewhere with three plugins. Because you got the phone plug in, you got the router plug in, and you have the Obi box. So this is what it looks like. And this is how you're going to set it up. So here's the Obi box. And on the bottom you have the serial number, which I think you're going to need later on in the Obi website. But all you do is, the cool thing is the Obi box came with an Ethernet cable, which is great. So you just plug in the Ethernet cable right there in the middle. And then you run that Ethernet cable into your router or modem or whatever device you have that's going to supply internet to the OB box. Then you have this connection, the, the phone connection. You plug that in and then you're going to plug that into your phone, whatever phone you're going to be using. So you can see I have that underneath the phone. And that's really it. <laughs> you just make sure the three devices are plugged in. And if you get a solid green light, um, that means that everything's good. It's connected to the internet. Everything is awesome. And this will be flashing every once in a while. You can see it's a little, I don't know, planet icon. That means it's just information's being passed through. But if you have a solid green light in the, uh, the little power light here, that means everything's good. It's connected and working. So anyways, that's it for the hardware setup. Pretty simple. Plug the OB box into your router, plug it into the wall, then make sure the phone cable is going into the phone, make sure the phone's plugged in, and that's it. So now we'll hop into the OB website and Google Voice and show you how to set it up there. Okay, so now that we have all the hardware set up, we've set up the OB box, we have it connected to the router, we have the phone connected to the OB box, we have everything plugged in, then we got to set up our Google Voice accounts or our Google account. So first thing you got to ask yourself is do you have a Google account? Uh, if you don't, you need one. So if you do not have a Google account, go here. It's accounts.google.com slash sign up. Or if you want, you could just go to google.com uh, and then just type in, once you get there, create Google account. And then just do a search for that. And then it'll show you right there. You can click on it and go from it that way. I'm just showing you that just in case this link someday doesn't work anymore. Anyway, so once you're at this page, you just fill out the information. Put in your first name, your last name, put in the email that you want to have. It's going to be whatever you want at gmail.com. You put in your password, uh, put in your birthday, gender, mobile phone, all that stuff. And then once you're done, just check I agree to this, the terms, hit next step, and then it'll take you through and it'll just walk you through exactly how to do everything. It'll prompt you for all the information it needs, put it in. Once it's done, it'll say, hey, good job. You've created your account. And then it should forward you into a Gmail environment. So you're inside of Gmail. You know that your account's done. So once you've created a Google account, uh, you're going to then go log into google.com slash voice. So again, just you can just type it in google.com slash voice and then if you're already logged into your Google account it'll recognize that and then just forward you in now again I've set this up so 
it doesn't really show you what you'll need to do but the first time you go in here it'll say hey you don't have a Google Voice account let's set it up and so it'll walk you through all these steps that you can do it's gonna have you choose a phone number choose your phone number that you want uh, it's gonna have you do all those different things and then when you're done it will then forward you into the Google Voice environment. Uh, the cool thing about the numbers is, is you can type in letters and stuff so it's easier to remember so you could have it like your number be 999 help <laughs> just whatever you can put in the phrase that you want and it'll look for that number which is slick. So anyways once you've chosen your number and then you get in here you'll know that your Google Voice account is set up and once that's done then you go into Obitalk and Obitalk is the website uh, where you set up your Google Voice account inside of Obi's environment so it'll actually work. Okay, so the first thing you do, just go to obitalk.com is the website and then you're going to come over here you got to sign out and you'll come over here to sign in and you're going to sign in with the Google account that you just created. So I'm going to click sign in with Google I'm logged in already so it recognizes that so it just puts me uh, straight in. Now the first time you do this a window might pop up and say do you want to give permission to Obitalk to handle certain aspects of your Google account. Just hit accept. Uh, you want to give them permission to, to mess with your account so you can actually have your free home phone service. So once you accept that then it brings you here. And it says do you need to add your OB device? Yes I do. I'm setting it up. So I'm going to hit yes. If you don't get that prompt for some weird reason, just click on Add Device, and it'll take you here. So the first thing it'll do is say, hey, set up your hardware. We've already done that. We've already done this part right here. We don't have an actual OB phone. We just have the, the OB box. So we've plugged it in, we put it into our router, and we put it into our phone. We're good to go there. So, And then you want to make sure you check, I want to configure Google Voice on this device because that's what we're going to be using for the, the service. So we'll hit next. And the next thing I want you to do is, is take your handset, which I have in my hand here, and dial that number. Uh, and then it says you may hang up when you hear the automated response. So I'm going to turn on my phone, and then I'm going to dial the star star 5 number. Okay, I don't know if you heard that, but it said the number you dialed, the star star 51583 has been sent to the server, I think is what it said. I don't, I'm not sure I have my headset on. But anyways, it accepted that, so it knows that it's working. So anyways, uh, we mentioned this when we were setting up the hardware. I'm just going to hang up the phone now. We mentioned when we set up the hardware that you can't dial 911 on this. So they're letting you know again, hey... You can't dial 911 on this phone, so don't use it as an emergency phone. And so now OB does have a service where you can sign up for the 911. I think it's like $15 a year, something like that. So that is an option if you absolutely want to have that. But for me, I don't. I still have my cell phone. I'm good with that. I just want this to be a home phone just in case our cell phones are lost or something. That's why I want to use this. So I acknowledge that. I'm good. So I hit accept. Okay, then it's going to say, do you want to accept the terms of service of Google Voice and all of that? Yeah, I do. I'm good. Okay, and then configuration name, I'm good with Google Voice. It's my first phone, that's fine. Seven digit dialing from US and Canada. Uh, don't really know what that is, so... Oh, okay, I could set up my, okay, so I could say my area, my area code there. So that's my area code, and that means now I could only dial the, the seven numbers to dial people in that area code. I don't really care about that, but I'm good with dialing full numbers. It's not a big deal for me. I'll just be saving numbers in my phone anyway, so I don't need to worry about that. Okay, and then it says, again, the 911 isn't supported by Google Voice. We're okay with that, so I'm just going to hit finish setup.
it's asking me again are you okay to, if it does these things I am so I hit accept okay and then it's like this is the the Google voice account you're trying to use it is that's the one I want to use that's my personal one so I'll hit confirm okay so now it's down here configuring what it needs to configure and I'm pretty sure that's it. So I'll wait to it for it to configure here. And then if there's anything else I need to show you, I'll, I'll do a video on it, but I'm pretty sure I'm just gonna wait for this to configure itself here. And then if you wanna sign up for the 911, it looks like this is where you do it right there. So, but I'm not gonna do that. Anyways, we'll let it do its we'll let it do its thing, and then we'll come back if needed. So, have fun, guys. Hope that helped. We'll see ya. All right, there was one more thing uh, you needed to do to get this to work. So this just sat there and says it's connecting, connecting, connecting. So I went over into uh, Obi's website. And I went over here to support, and then it says my Obi does not ring because I tried calling it, didn't work. So I hadn't done this part. Uh, it says you need to make sure that you forward this to Google Chat. So you, what you got to do is go into Google Voice, uh, head over here to settings, click on the thing, and then go to settings. And then I just needed to make sure that forward calls to Google Chat was checked. And so I checked that. And so now I've got my cell phone. I'm going to dial my Google Voice number. And you can hear the phone ringing. So it's working very, very well, and everything is happy. So that's how you do it, guys. Hope that helped, and I hope that helps you out there. I mean, free home service, free home phone service. Can't complain. It's good stuff. So have an awesome, awesome day.